The special ingredient that sets Earth apart is called life. The oceans are chock full of it. Too small for our eyes to see, phytoplankton may be the most important living things on the planet. They take in CO2, driven into the oceans by waves or drawn up from the deep by currents they release the oxygen while absorbing carbon. The carbon then begins a journey up the food chain. Phytoplankton get eaten by zooplankton. To name a few, radiolarians date back to a time over 500 million years ago when life exploded across Earth's oceans. Copepods are tiny bug-like crustaceans. With over 20,000 species, they are the single largest source of protein in the sea. Every year, over 100 million tons of carbon dioxide is spewed into the oceans and atmosphere by volcanoes. Acting on time scales of a day to millions of years, the carbon cycle has helped make our planet habitable. But its success depends on life itself. We are how Earth works. If somehow the carbon cycle went wrong, what would Earth be like? The answer is a world away on Venus. Here, the CO2 belching from volcanoes isn't going anywhere. Venus is like a house on fire with the windows forever closed. The cause can be traced in part to those incinerating solar winds. Sheltered from those winds, Earth has kept CO2 levels in balance by absorbing and releasing it in roughly equal amounts. Lately, that balance has been shifting.